Look at the polls. The polls show that young Democrats don't support Israel with the fervor that older Democrats and Republicans do. Uh, bipartisanism is in danger, and that's why we have to continue to fight. I have to continue to fight within the Democratic Party to make sure that we nominate candidates who are strongly supportive of Israel. Look, I had an enormous fight with Elizabeth Warren, who I was a colleague of for 25 years, and I like her personally. But when she refused to come to hear Netanyahu speak against the Iran deal, I told her for me that was a red line. She would go and hear dictators from countries, but not America's strongest ally, Netanyahu. And, um, but I, I persuaded Charlie Rangel to go and listen to the speech. And Charlie Rangel called me after it was over and said, thank you for urging me to do it. It was a great speech. I don't agree with all of it, but it was a great speech. So, you know, we have to push very hard for bipartisan support. I remember the time when it was the Republicans that were a problem on Israel. Eisenhower and others, and the Democrats who were, you know, Hubert Humphrey, couldn't have been a stronger supporter of Israel. Things change, and we, the Jewish community, the pro-Israel community, Zionists, have to be flexible. We have to be able to adapt to changes and advocate within the Democratic Party.